This was perhaps the most unique cookie tin that I saw for Christmas 2020 and I just couldn't help but upscale it into something that I would be using throughout the year so stick around for that. So the inspiration for this video actually comes from two sources. One of them was the complete and utter disgust at using coxet or mosquito coils. Even though this says citronella, it's quite... it started giving me headaches. And just the mere fact that these things get so gross, I don't even need to open it. Like, it's crusted with this sticky tar-like substance, which I guess it's pretty much like smoking a cigarette. Imagine what that does to your lungs. So I decided to move away from that. So I got a tea light candle oil diffuser and I actually got this in super quality. I paid about $40 for it. So the tea candle goes in here, you fill this with some water and then you put the essential oils on top and it diffuses it really, really nicely. So this, but it's ceramic. If this falls, it's going to break. So I only use this for indoors. And the flame is somewhat exposed if something gets into there, if some paper or whatever, if it's near something, um, they run the risk of this catching a fire. The flame is not totally enclosed. I was in Massey stores um, over the Christmas season and I saw this interesting jar of cookies. Um, it's from Jacobson's brand and it came with chocolate chip cookies but it was actually marketed as a candle tin. So the purpose was to put a tea candle in there at the bottom and there are little holes on the inside of it that I guess for ornamental purposes it actually has a really nice glow you'd have seen from the intro video so I'm like oh cool but I didn't want to use it for an aesthetic purpose I wanted to actually make an outdoor candle diffuser so of course you'll need the tin you'll need some cans um, I opted for Brunswick tuna as opposed to the Vienna sausage tin both of them will work, it will work, but this one is so much deeper, it leaves so much more space for it to, you know, dangle. It's, if you don't have anything else, use this, but this one fits perfectly. Cut glass wire, or any stiff wire, pliers, small piece of wire that you're going to strip. It's really to tidy the cut glass wire pieces that you're going to mold together. Tea candles, lighter. So first to begin with, you're going to cut a length of wire. I would have cut based on the dimensions of this and this put together. So just imagine you're going to want to have wire here, coming over the top, coming through the bottom, through the base and the same coming through the top and on, on the next side. So you could measure that with a piece of string and then cut an appropriate length of wire to enable you to do that. So after you do that twice, you're gonna end up with something like this, with this outline as the cross section. So with two of those, this piece of wire in the middle that ties them both together is basically this, stripped and wound around it a couple of times. And then to mount it, I usually use a mixture of oils. The primary oil that I will use is citronella, eucalyptus, lemongrass, and for that holiday chair, wintergreen. It also works well if you have a cold and you need that extra boost with the eucalyptus and for that relaxing effect, lavender. And if you're extra bougie and you want that pungent kick, why not put some tea tree oil? 
So I usually mix them in uh, hair product bottles that you could get in Pennywise. I mean, the argument with this is it's a container that allows light in. If you notice, all of these are in dark colored bottles. Um, so you don't want to mix a lot of this at a time because the oils themselves may break down. The true test of this would be its ability to withstand wind as an outdoor oil diffuser. So I decided to compare it side by side to my existing ceramic diffuser to see which one withstood the wind better. There should be no surprise as to who won this little challenge and this tin is just so functional it allows airflow for the candle it could withstand moderate winds i feel safer with it outside it's pleasant to look at the flame isn't exposed it heats the water with the oil in it to just the right temperature to actually work well so all around, this is definitely my outdoor oil diffuser, uh, citronella candle replacement. I think it works better than a citronella candle. And guys, if you get your hands on one of these, definitely try this small DIY project. <laughs>